Speedrunning has been really popular lately in the community, so I decided to try it out myself. But I did it with a twist. I installed a data pack which makes blocks below you disappear like in TNT run and ended up fighting the Ender Dragon. If you guys are new around here, make sure to subscribe because 87.6% of you are not subscribed. So please hit that subscribe button and never miss my videos. Alright guys, before we get started in today's video, I just want to say that we have a brand new Minecraft server launched right now when you're watching this video. As you can see, the lab survival server is getting a massive update. We completely changed the spawn, we completely changed how the game works, and we completely changed the IP. The way you get into the server is using play.thelabmc.net. If you do it right now in Minecraft 1.16.3, you will be able to hop on and play with us. As soon as you see this video, that means the server is public and you can come in, play with us, and you know, see what's new. But before we get into the video, I'm just gonna show you around a bit and then you can just come in and play and figure it out yourself. By the way, if you hear thunder in the background, it's really really thundering. Okay, so when you spawn, you spawn here, it says welcome to the lab survival server. So we completely changed the spawn, you cannot build straight out of spawn, it's- Oh, okay, Smithers is giving me stuff, but basically when you vote, you get all the stuff. I'm just gonna say fill me in right now. So basically this is the menu, you have rules, ranks, vote, discord, and coming soon. Basically for the coming soon, you have to be on our discord, it has over 10,000 people on, and if you click it, you get it right there, you just click it and it leads you to join but if you're watching this video right now go into the description and just click the link and it's going to join you to a discord and there's going to be everything you need to know about the future updates of the server but if you go to the vote you see all the voting sites are here and when you vote you get a chance to win something good and then you can see here we have top daily vote streaks so how many days in a row you voted you're going to be on the leaderboards right here we have the all-time top voters right now smithers has 163 because we did a lot of testing to figure out if it's working or not we have most hours play you can see smithers has been playing for 48 hours i've been playing for 22 so basically we're gonna have these holograms set up around the server so you guys can interact with them and see like i think it's pretty cool when you've been grinding you've been voting you see yourself like number one at spawn and there's a cool little feature here most fish caught so basically if you take your fishing rod and come here and fish you're gonna be on top of the leaderboard so we're gonna be spreading like these holograms around the server somewhere where it fits right here near the lava you can see most depth. I have seven deaths because Smithers just kills me all the time. So basically that's it. It's a survival server, but we just upgraded it a bit. It's not like bland like the other one was. And when you first join in, you will not be able to build or do anything. You need to vote three times to get out of the newcomer rank. So you need to be a member rank to be able to do stuff on the server. The reason why we're doing it like this, because it helps us out and new people are going to be able to join if they find our server on Planet Minecraft or other sites. But to give you a quick rundown of the ranks, these are the ranks you have newcomer member citizen merchant expert hero duke and elder and of course legend this is the highest rank on the server which needs a thousand votes but basically each rank gives you some abilities citizen ability as you can see you can do slash home with merchant you can use claim with expert you can do tpa you can do set home and you can create chest shops so basically we have a shopping system enabled on the server and we plan on doing like shops for you guys so as you can see when you reach hero rank you get a custom small shop plot at spawn so basically we're gonna give you plots and you can build your your own stores it's so easy for people to buy you just click the sign and it takes the items from your inventory and purchases whatever you want so i think it's gonna give you more incentive to grind and to vote because you can have your shop at spawn and then you can farm what you don't need and sell it for stuff you need so i think this update is pretty cool like i said we're gonna be doing a lot more stuff we've been thinking about like doing weekly or monthly challenges for some items we don't know how to do it yet because it's only me and smithers who are doing all of this but hopefully you guys enjoy it and hopefully you guys come on to play like i said the server is live right now play.thelabmc.net join us i'll be there and uh tell me you've been watching the video anyways let's continue with the video all right boys and girls as you know recently in the minecraft youtube community speed running has been really really big like dream got like 10 million subs in two months dude's insane literally insane so i decided i want to do a speed run too but i just don't want to do a normal vanilla speed run i need some twists you know and i literally found the worst data pack ever like you cannot speed run with this forget all the fundy difficulties forget all the 
man hunts. This is literally impossible. Like whoever can beat Minecraft with this plugin, I'll donate you my kidney. I'm not joking. So if I go into chat right now, uh, as you can see, I'm literally in creative because I don't want to die. And I do slash function, or actually I have it copied. Oh, nah, that's the title of the video. Okay, so I did it here, TNT run settings. So basically, if you guys don't know what TNT run is, it's a game mode on Hypixel, I think. Basically, you run and blocks fall behind you. So that's what's gonna hit, be happening here, but in survival. So you need to beat the game while you're walking or running and everything behind you is literally falling apart. So. It's impossible. So I'm going to show you, start a game, just so you see in creative. It, you should, you should fall? No? Alright, well, uh, I messed it up, B. I messed it up. Alright guys, so I got everything figured out. I'm dumb. I don't know how to use data packs, I'm sorry. But basically, if I do... Okay, never mind, don't do that. I do slash, boom. I have the settings tab thing, like you saw in the previous one. I have particles disabled, I think. Do I have the true, false, true, false? Okay, so I'm gonna put them on false, because I don't think that's gonna show me the particles, because they're insane. I don't want to see them. I'm gonna just show you what it does in creative. Okay, so if I do that, oh, okay, I just fall down. Never mind. So basically, like I explained in the beginning, wherever you run, they just blocks just fall behind you. Very simple. I'm gonna die in a second. But I'm gonna do stop game right now and I'm gonna go into the survival mode. And I don't know how I'm gonna be able to get anything. My best guess is probably find a village. But I'm like 110% sure this is impossible to beat the game with. <laughs> so I am in survival. I'm gonna press... Start and we're gonna go. Okay, so the plan for the game is simple. Why are the blocks not disappearing? Okay, they are. Okay, I'm done. Okay, having no particles is really bad. All right, so the plan is find a village because I don't think I can do anything else. Maybe can I? Yeah, there's no way I can break trees, bro. I'm getting such bad FPS. It's insane. All right, so I need to find a village. I'm probably gonna play until like two deaths because this whole video is gonna be me running and I don't want that to be it. But I don't think like we're doomed, man. This is like, I don't even know why I'm making a video on this because, oh, there's a witch hut. Maybe that has something in it. Bro, we're destroying the whole thing. Oh no, she's in there. Come on, bro. I don't want to get poisoned. Dude, I kind of want to go in there. I don't know if the witch, like, has anything in the hut. I forgot. Dude, it's so, like, close to me that I cannot do anything. Can I kill, like, cows or something? Come on, please, cow. Don't die, cow. Come on, come back, come back. I just need your food, bro. Come on. No, no, I'm stuck. Oh, the server is lagging. Please don't kill me. All right, cow, come on. You're one shot, bro. Come on. No, come back. I need your steak. Nah, that stupid cow, bro. The cow killed me. All right, we got the levitation effect because the spawn point is in void. But we are continuing on our journey and we're back at spawn. Never mind. Where are we, where are we going? Bro, this is literally impossible. I don't know why I'm still doing this. I'll give it one more go, but if it like I don't see anything or a village, I'm literally giving up because this makes no sense. I don't even understand why would you make a data pack like this? Like, what's the point? Because... It's impossible. Like, I understand, like, the speedrunners want a challenge. Beating Minecraft without armor or beating Minecraft without arrows or without a bow. But beating Minecraft while blocks behind you just disappear is no bueno. Like, for this to work, you probably need to get everything spawned in a village. I don't see any other way. Like, let me know in the comments, please, if you know how to do this. Like, is this actually possible? Like, I need comments from Minecraft gods telling me, like, this is not impossible. Because I think it is. I don't think you can beat the game like this. Okay, sugar cane, we need it for books, okay? I, I know what I'm doing. I'm pro Minecraft UHC player. But I need to see a village. Because that's the only thing that's gonna save me, bro. Do I try to kill the cow again? Okay, come on. I need your food, bro. Bro, how many hits do you need? Jesus. Alright, guess you don't wanna die. Did they buff the cows or I'm just insane? Oh my god, it takes like seven hits with a fist. But at least we got food because we're running empty. Alright, got that. We're going swimming. What is that? Oh, never mind. Those are cheese. I thought it's like a, a mansion or something. How do you even get like ores, bro? Yeah, you cannot even get ores. <laughs> Why am I playing this data pack? I'm in pain and I know you guys are in pain too. Like I just opened playing Minecraft, saw this data pack. I was like, come on, you cannot make this really hard. It's impossible. Oh, village boys, we got the village. Come on. I want like an ender portal there. I want a diamond sword, a diamond pickaxe. Like I want it all. I'm just going to destroy the whole village. Anything? Nope. Okay. Uh, I just found the village and you killed me.
So I decided that I'm done with this data pack and I need to beat it. So, you know, me being a professional Minecraft player, I got some stuff. I just got myself some netherite fire protection 4 armor and some netherite sword sharpness 5 fire aspect 2, power 5 fire aspect 2 infinity bow. You know, just some simple stuff, nothing too fancy and maybe like 4 stacks of god apples like easy find so i totally did this all legit like i did not go into creative why would i like you find four stacks of god apples everywhere learn to play kid but we're going into the nether or nether what we're going into the end and we're gonna fight the ender dragon and beat him with the data pack on i want to test it you know does it does it work so if i just boop start he should be dropping blocks yeah okay good so we're gonna fight him we're gonna beat him easy clap now, I gotta be very, very, like, mm, do I go in or above? I can't, right? Yeah, maybe I can. Okay. I got a bridge, man. I'm a high pixel bridge player. Okay, that doesn't work. Nope, that will not work. Like, I gotta just shoot him. But I know, yeah, that one's close, bro. How am I gonna survive that? That's gonna be impossible. All right, I'm just gonna try shooting them. I think I'm doing fine for now. But... Dude, you're so loud, bro. Oh, wait. I gotta eat my god apple, bro. Okay, now we're chilling. All right, come on. I need that one. Is that good? What the? That, that, that went straight through, bro. That went straight through. Oh, okay. I destroyed it. I need to get up that one, but... And that one. Yeah, dude, that's impossible. How am I supposed to do that? <laughs> oh, my God. It's so bad. Okay, well, I think I'm done with this data pack. I'm tired and sick of it. I think you cannot beat it. You literally cannot get on the the part where you need to destroy the bars. Yeah, it's impossible. So we've proven a fact today. Whoever made this texture pack or data pack, I'm sorry. Is this still going on? Yeah, it's still going on. <laughs> Whoever made this data pack, please, you try yourself, film a video, prove it that you can do it. Honestly, I know I said it 50 times in this video. I think this is the only data pack that makes it impossible to beat the game. Because you cannot get up to destroy the bars, right? Or am I thinking something else? I mean, first of all, you cannot get even into the end. <laughs> because i cheated my way there i literally built and then the portal we proved a fact today guys that this data pack makes the game impossible 